Hello friends, and welcome back! Today, I want to dive into the realm of natural remedies to address the persistent issue of your dog's itchy skin. If you're here, chances are you share the same challenge I do, a dog that just won't stop itching. Recently, I've immersed myself in researching natural ways to bring relief to my furry friend. Having gathered valuable insights, I'm eager to share them with you in this video. Join me as I introduce 7 natural remedies designed to provide your beloved pet with much-needed relief from continuous itching. My mission in life has become the pursuit of gentle yet effective natural solutions, whether it's for my four-legged companion, myself, or my family and friends. Let's embark on this journey together and explore the potential remedies that could offer assistance. Now, before we begin, I want to emphasize a couple of important reminders. Firstly, consulting with your veterinarian is crucial before trying any new remedy for your dog. If your dog's itching persists, a visit to the veterinarian is essential to identify the underlying cause. It's worth noting that sometimes a simple change in their diet can make a significant difference in alleviating itching. Additionally, I want to highlight that most of the remedies we'll discuss are intended for external use. I'll provide specific instructions for each remedy to ensure proper application and effectiveness. Also, just like with any treatment, dogs can have adverse reactions. If your pet shows any signs of this, it's important to discontinue use immediately and consult your veterinarian. Number 1. Chamomile Tea and Green Tea Chamomile tea and green tea serve as effective rinses or sprays when applied externally to the affected area. Chamomile, cherished for centuries for its soothing and anti-inflammatory properties, not only reduces skin irritation but also promotes a sense of calmness. It can be used in many forms but for your pup, you will want to use it as a tea. Green tea is another herb that has been used for centuries and is known for its anti-inflammatory effects and antioxidant properties. This can help lead to a healthier skin environment as well as reduce irritation and itching. Combining these two teas or using them individually allows you to create a soothing rinse or spray. For a rinse, simply use a pre-made tea bag or loose leaf tea, steeping it in hot water for 10 to 15 minutes. If using loose leaf tea, remember to strain, then let it cool to room temperature. After a bath, carefully pour the tea onto your pet's coat, ensuring to avoid their eyes, ears, and nose. Ideally, allow your pet to air dry, however, if necessary, gently pat them dry with a clean towel. To create a spray, follow the tea-making instructions. Once cooled to room temperature, transfer the tea to a spray bottle and apply directly to the affected area. Once again, allow your pet to air dry or gently pat dry with a clean towel. Number 2. Oatmeal Specialty dog shampoos featuring oatmeal are well known for their ability to reduce inflammation and soothe your pet's skin. The good news is that you don't have to invest in expensive products, you can easily treat your furry friend to an oatmeal bath at home. This is another external use-only option. All you need is plain, unflavored, and unsweetened oatmeal, a blender, a plastic cup, and, of course, a bathtub. To begin, select plain oatmeal, avoid instant oatmeal as it may contain irritants, and place about a cup into a blender. Blend until it becomes a powder, blending times vary depending on the blender, but for me, it's usually a little over a minute. Once you have your oatmeal powder, fill your bathtub with approximately 5 to 6 inches of lukewarm water. Ensure the water is not hot to prevent further skin irritation and be cautious about the temperature to avoid burning your dog. Do not add too much water, as it will affect the oatmeal to water ratio. Now, add your oatmeal powder to the tub and mix it well. The water should resemble a watered-down milk consistency. If needed, add more blended oatmeal. The next step involves gently placing your dog into the bath for 10 to 15 minutes. During this time, use a plastic cup to pour the oat-infused water over your dog, avoiding their eyes, ears, and nose. Massage your dog's coat to help the oatmeal water penetrate. After the designated time, drain the tub and give your pup a quick rinse. Gently pat your dog dry, avoiding vigorous rubbing. While this oatmeal bath can be beneficial, it's essential not to overbathe your dog. Based on my research, it is suggested to do this up to twice a week for dogs with skin conditions. Remember, your dog's skin has natural oils that you don't want to deplete through excessive washing. Number 3. Calendula, an enchanting herbal flower found in many gardens, is not just a visual delight but also holds therapeutic benefits. 
Gardeners often create calendula oil, cream, or salve for personal use due to its well-established reputation in herbalism for possessing anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and wound healing properties. Consider incorporating calendula externally to spot treat your dog's specific areas of concern. Numerous online options offer calendula products in various forms such as creams, ointments, and oils. However, exercise caution and ensure you purchase a pet-safe product to guarantee the well-being of your furry companion. If you prefer a DIY approach, crafting your own calendula product is an option. Ensure the ingredients used are safe for your four-legged friend. In the near future, I'll be creating a video tutorial featuring a pet-safe calendula option. When this video is available, I'll provide a link for easy access. Number 4. So unfortunately, the research on pets and herbal medicine is limited, but it is said that nettle is safe to use on your dog externally as well as internally. Nettle, also known as stinging nettle, is a powerful herb with quite the punch, literally, I'm sure you know what I mean if you have ever ran into it. It stings! Though this herb may seem intimidating in its raw form with proper preparation this herb is quite powerful. It contains potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. In fact, it can be used in an array of disorders such as arthritis, digestive disorders, and urinary tract infections in your dog. There are so many ways this can be added to your dog's routine. So let's go over some of them. Nettle tea rinses and sprays. As with chamomile tea and green tea, nettle can be prepared and used for your dog in the same way. You can even draw a bath and add a couple of tea bags or some loose leaf herbs to the bath water and bathe your dog with the water. Extracts and tinctures are also a great way to use it for your dog's itchy skin. They can be diluted and applied directly to the irritated area or added to their dinner. Now remember when you make your own tincture, the ratio of nettle that your dog receives internally can differ depending on how it is prepared. If you choose to make your own tincture, make sure to consult with a reliable source so you don't over or underdose your dog. You can also find many pet-friendly online options if you wish to purchase your tincture. These will have the proper dosage based on your pet's weight on the back of the bottle. Nettle leaf when processed properly is generally considered safe to consume. Never, ever, give your dog fresh nettle leaf. Like I mentioned previously it stings. Now nettle can be ground into a powder and given with your pet's food. I have not tried this yet as I haven't found a reliable source on the amount to give my furry friend. Number 5. Coconut oil is one of my favorite go-tos when my pup starts to scratch. Besides the fact that it's moisturizing, it also has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects. When choosing a coconut oil make sure to choose a virgin oil that high in quality, you want to avoid anything that has been over-processed so it doesn't lose its natural healing properties. When applying, put a small amount in your palm and allow it to warm up so it is easier to spread. Then apply it to the affected area on your pup. I personally only use coconut externally, though small amounts are considered safe for dogs to consume. Number 6. Apple cider vinegar has gained popularity in recent years. Its amazing healing powers aren't just for humans, but can help with your dog's skin irritation. Now luckily you won't have to try to persuade your dog into taking a shot. In fact, you will only be using this externally on your dog. It's said that apple cider vinegar has antifungal and antibacterial effects and can help balance your dog's skin pH. Now something important to note is that you do not want to apply this to broken skin or cuts. It will cause your dog pain if you do this. You also never want to use straight apple cider vinegar. It must be diluted. You will need a good quality apple cider vinegar with the mother since that is where the beneficial bacteria can be found. You will then want to mix one part apple cider vinegar with one to two parts water. Let me explain further, if you use one cup apple cider vinegar, you will mix it with one to two cups water. I personally would start with one cup apple cider vinegar to two cups water to make sure your dog can tolerate it. Also, start small. Some dogs cannot tolerate the smell. You will put the mixture in a spray bottle and apply it to the affected area. You can leave it on or rinse it off after a few minutes. Make sure to avoid your dog's eyes, ears, and nose. Number 7. Aloe vera, a popular succulent plant has been used for centuries to alleviate skin irritation. It provides a cooling and soothing effect, which can help your pup's skin irritation. This one is a little harder to use in my opinion because you don't want your dog to lick it off. 
it can cause digestive upset when consumed by your pup, so this should only be used externally. If you do decide to use it, make sure to monitor your dog closely so they don't lick it off. Now if you decide to use aloe vera you will want to make sure it is either fresh aloe from your garden or a pure aloe vera product that does not contain additives such as alcohol. Aloe can be applied directly to the affected area. Please avoid your pet's eyes, ears, and nose. What I like most about aloe is its cooling effect especially since it can be put into the refrigerator and chilled. When I see an area that my pet has been scratching or chewing that is warm to the touch I will apply the chilled aloe vera to help soothe the area after cleaning in. I hope you enjoyed the 7 remedies to help your 4-legged friends itching. If you find this information useful, please give me a like and subscribe below. And as always stay happy, healthy, and informed.